Now, given the dismal outcomes from the current and antiquated approach to education in America, is it any surprise that according to a recent Gallup poll, Americans' confidence in their education system is at an all-time low? Only 29% only have a great deal or a lot of confidence in our schools. This marks a steady decline since 1973 when Gallup first began asking about America's school system. The bottom line, American education doesn't need to be reformed. It needs to be transformed. Secretary DeVos is leading the effort to transform education in America. And to transform education, students, parents, and teachers need education freedom. Empowering students and parents is what Secretary DeVos refers to as educational freedom. She believes students should be free to learn in ways and places that work for them. She understands that parents, not government bureaucrats, can best assist the needs, skills, and aspirations of their, of their children. And Secretary DeVos recognizes that every child is special and unique. And that's why this administration proposes the Education Freedom Scholarship. This is a bold proposal for a federal tax credit to empower students and parents. I hope you've seen the proposal. There's currently legislation before the U.S. Congress. I'm not going to go into the details here, but you can find them at ed.gov backslash freedom. ed.gov backslash freedom. Here are just a few things that these scholarships will enable students to do. These scholarships can be used for apprenticeships, dual enrollment, or industry certifications. They could cover transportation to a different public school or to a career center. Scholarships could be used for educational therapies and services for special needs and special education students. Or they could be used for tuition to job training programs like a coding boot camp or for industry-based exams and certifications. This proposal will not expand the power of the federal government because these programs will be administered by state governments. They will be encouraged to create more options for students and parents within their states. 